Welcome back to the show with H and Joe, everybody. How are y'all doing? Episode number seven. I, I thought you was going to say nine. I was like, bro, we ain't there yet. No, we should be like at nine or ten, though. We should be at ten. I don't know. We're fucking slackers, y'all. This is terrible. If this was an actual job, y'all, we would have been fired <laughs> by now. <laughs> we, no, they would have threw this, our ass out. This is H, usually, and... Even at your normal real life jobs, I have no idea how you lasted as long as you did because you were a slacker too, especially at Walmart. Oh, at Walmart, that was terrible. Yeah. I literally have no idea how they never yeah. fired you. At Walmart, yeah, I would literally go and like, I do. I man, you I do swear. the bare minimum. I would I would bust ass y'all like when I got there for like at least eight hours, but then I look at the time and it was like ten minutes had passed. So I'd be like fuck, and then I'd like go on break y'all for like an hour. He would literally come home and take a nap on his break. <laughs> For like three hours and shit. Motherfuckers wondering where I'm at. Fuck no, because they wouldn't even call you. You would just go back like nothing. Yeah. Would you even clock out? Fuck no. <laughs> I, I would like I used to. Like at the beginning? Yeah, at the beginning I would. And then uh, I was just like, man, fuck it. I don't know where the fuck I'm at. I'm good. Yeah, horrible employee. Like I literally have no earthly idea how he lasted as long as he did at Walmart. That I was, was like your, almost like two was years. Was that your first job? That was my very first job ever. Yeah, that was his... It was, it was a huge learning curve. It was his first, first job ever. But my, my last job that I had, it was cool. Like, I work, I work, I bust my ass. Come here, ass. Milo. What's he want? He wants to get up here. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Um, yeah, my last job, yeah, I, I busted ass. We're going to show off like Milo. Oh, yeah. Y'all see my little shit? Yeah, y'all can't even see my shit. Look, I'm going to be like this the whole time. I'm just going to turn around so they can see the back. With my titty. No, but I literally have no earthly idea, guys, how he lasted as long as he freaking did um, at Walmart. Yeah. It was a long time. I just think because it was a small town and everybody... Ah! Sorry if y'all can't hear me. And everybody knew... What do you want to do? Do you want to talk to or what? Um, everybody knew your family. Yeah, so everybody's like, nah, we can't fire him. We cool with his family. And then, okay, you're not saying how I want you, so take your little four-legged butt over there. Um, and then when they were going to fire you, that's whenever you quit, right? Yeah, literally like the day, I think. <laughs> they were supposedly supposed to fire him the day that he quit because he found a better job. Yeah, I had found a better job, and I was like, man, fuck it, I'm gone. Like, I was at work. Like, I was at work at Walmart. and Your aunt called you, yeah, right? Yeah, my aunt called. She was like, hey, come over here, because they finna hire you right now. And I was like, what? I ain't even interviewed. She was like, nah, they're going to interview and then hire you. I was like, shoot, bet. So I left, and I was like, or, and I didn't even leave yet. The supervisor had went and got me, and he was like, hey, can we talk real quick? I was like, yeah, go ahead. And he was like, um. So did they fire you, or no? You were like, I'm, I'm just going to leave. Oh, well, I, I think, like, I, well, I don't know, because he talked to me. He was like, hey, man, like, you know, you're not doing too good and shit like that. <laughs> you're like, two, and two I was years later. Like, well, uh, <laughs> I was like, well, I just found another job, man. So I was like, I'm probably just going to get up out of here right now. And he was like, okay, well, good luck to you, man. <laughs> good luck to you, too, motherfucking shit. I'm gone. Oh, my God. I'm out this motherfucker. What's he doing? Under here, over here, scratching my feet. Y'all hear him wagging. Y'all, if it's not the kids, it's the dog. Y'all. He literally acted like he couldn't stay in the living room right now. I wonder if y'all like the new setup. Y'all like the new setup? It's a little, yeah, y'all, let us know. It's a little different now, y'all, because... Uh, y'all want us to open the curtains? We can open the curtains Y'all want to see outside? Y'all just going to see the glare. <laughs> a, a brick wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I literally, like, it's so crazy. Do you miss working at Walmart? Like, do you... I feel like we honestly had more money when you worked at Walmart, and that was the least paying job you ever had. I don't yeah, miss it. I, I really do miss going to get popcorn chicken, though, and then just stealing it and eating it for free. Oh, and by the way, I have no makeup on, so this is kind of weird for me. Wait, uh, see, that's good, because you're not even looking at the camera now. You're yeah, just I know, fucking so they can straight. just see the side. They can just see good the, thing that they just see this side, because I have, like, oh, is that pimp- a, is that I have side? No, I literally have pimples, like, all on the other side of my face that they can't see. I don't know why. Look. Can you see them? Oh, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know what's going I got, on. Well, I'm off scruffy right now. I haven't shaved. I don't know why. I've been trying to do, like, a little... 
So I turned 25 this year, and I'm gonna try to be on it with my skin. You know, you you need to st- I need to start being on it, cause there's just things with your skin that you, like I'm I never noticed, and I'm so mad. I never noticed like in high school if I had like my pores. Yeah. We're as big as they are now. And now I'm like, oh, I should have paid attention to that and took, like, better care of my skin in high school. And maybe my my skin wouldn't be ass now. Yeah. But. I don't know, man. I, I just feel like I never really cared about skincare too much. I still kind of don't. Like, that's probably when my skin all fucked up, but. He wants to care when he has, like, the biggest pimple ever. He wants to do everything like, possible. What the, what the, where the fuck did this come from? <laughs> he wants to do everything possible. Like, buy all these expensive stuff. Like, it's going to... Oh, excuse me. Like, it's going to go away that freaking day. But I'm I'm trying to get better at it. Like, literally. And my mom is, like, real big on skincare, guys. Like, especially... In, she's always been big on skincare. Like, the little... What is it called? The Olay shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my mom, like, was always buying that. But now that, like, she's older, like, of course, she's, like, investing more in her skin. And she's like, you need to do this and you need to do that. But my skin is so sensitive, guys. Fuck all that, man. So. That's too much shit to worry about. I've been on it. I have found a little cleanser thing that's really good that I like that I've actually, like, noticed. You know how you buy shit and you're like, is this even doing anything for me? This one is. that's just too much for me, man. Because you got to fucking get this moisturizer. The then you got to get some cleanser. And then you got to get some other bullshit. Then you got to get... Fuck all that, man. Then you got to do it, what, like two times two times a day and shit? Uh, fuck yeah, that. Yeah, like your morning... I, I know you can only like exfoliate sub- like once a day, right? Or like once every two days? No, like you could exfoliate uh, up to three times a week. Hell no. Nah. And then that. like, not just that, but... Like See, you have I already would have fucked you up have my to, face. You have to do your morning routine and then your nighttime routine. I really don't have a morning or a nighttime. I've actually been trying when I wake up, even if it's not in the morning, I do try to still, like, wash my face because I was really bad at just waking up and then just go do whatever, you know? Yeah. So I've been trying to do that, guys. Well, I'll wash my face. But as far as, like, throwing all that other shit on, no, fucking I've been spending, trying. like, eight hours trying to fix your fucking face. No, I'm, I'm cool trying, that. guys. My pores are, like, ginormous. And I feel like whenever you, like, since I do makeup, like, you know, my skin, I feel like when people see me, so for some weird reason, on camera, like, I don't feel like the live really picks up my flaws as, you know, like my it face. It makes you look better than what it face yeah, actually is. Yes. I feel like that's what it is. So I feel like when people see me. Like it's just Damn, man, your face yeah, fucked, like though. it's or maybe it's just like my insecurity. Yeah, like I'm still insecure, and so that's why I'm like I need to like freaking work on my face more because this is gonna be my money maker. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing lately, guys. Been trying to trying to drink more water too. That's very hard. Yeah, we're on like a. I don't want to say like a weight loss journey. Like we're just trying. I am trying to lose weight, but I don't want to say like it's a weight loss journey because I, I don't know yet. I don't know what I want to do. I can't diet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't want to say it's a weight loss journey. I'm just kind of seeing what what's going to what I'm going to do. I feel like with weight loss type shit, like because I want to lose weight, too, but I, I'm not I'm not going to go the extra mile to fucking like eat healthy. Yeah, eat healthy. We're semi trying. We um, we have kind of counted calories, not hardcore, but I think we're like in the learning process. Yeah. So I, I I just think it's too much. It I is, guys, because you're much, eating bro. and you're like, dang, there's this many calories in this, and you know what? I can only eat this much, you know? Yeah. So it's like so stressful to do that, but like you want to do it because you want to lose weight. But I've been researching that intermittent intermittent fasting or something like that and that i feel like i can do because i usually do go a long time without eating if that makes sense i just don't do it right because i i don't want to say i don't do it right but i guess you're supposed to wake up in the morning you know and like do it at a certain time so fucking fasting fasting is just drinking liquids right or just a certain kind of liquid you're not you're only just supposed to drink water like nothing with calories basically so unsweet tea black coffee or water like that's about it like i can drink like maybe a flavored unsweet tea does that make sense but i don't know if that has calories in it uh probably 
It probably does, huh? Would, yeah, I would think so. So, probably just water, and that's it. And you have to, the be like, what I've been researching is just, you do 16 hours of fasting, and then you do 8 hours of eating. And isn't that what, like, Lent is? Like, for, like, around Easter for, like, Catholic people? You're, like, just... It's just a, like, isn't that what Jesus did? Like, he fasted? Yeah, he fasted for, for like, 40, 40 days. days. Yeah, just water, I think. My cousin actually does. I actually have a cousin that fasts. Um, for that whole fucking time? Not for 40 days, but oh. like... Um, but he fasts quite a bit. No, it's it's a her. Um, oh, she fasts She fasts bit. is like for like... Sometimes she'll just fast for like a whole week. God, because um, she's really into going to church and stuff. And she's like, ask, say she's praying and asking God for something. Like she'll fast for him to hopefully get... I guess whatever she's prayed for Shit. and like to show him, you know, so she'll literally just drink water for like a whole week. I think she's done. The longest she's done is a whole week. Damn, bro. That's crazy. And I always tell her though, cause she thinks she's so fat. I'm like, girl, you've got bar- body dysmorphia. Cause you is skinny as shit. She's over here trying to lose weight and stuff. I'm like, girl, yeah, I, I bet, I bet Jesus was skinny as shit too. After them 40 fucking days. That's a long goddamn time. I know. That's eating. That's like, crazy. Damn, Jesus, you all right, bro? And that, like, since, like, now that we're talking about that, that makes me feel like crap that, like, when that time comes that I can't even give up something for 40 days without breaking uh, it. Yeah, I, yeah, dude. I, I kind of feel bad about that now that you're talking, now that you're talking about it because I don't give up shit, yo. And I'm like, No, yeah, like, bro. we try to and we do good, guys, and then we suck, too, because we're like, oh, we weren't even supposed to eat meat today, and we eat meat today, <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, Jesus. Yeah, like, so it's horrible, guys, and I, and I try to do it. This coming year, I'm really going to, like, try really hard to do it. So that means, and I'm not even, we're not even supposed Yo, to eat chicken. Yo, there wasn't even an Easter this year. I know, we weren't even supposed, to, we're not even supposed to eat chicken. Yeah, but but I'm a little-ass <laughs> kid, so my mom said I can eat chicken. <laughs> so we're not even supposed to eat chicken, guys. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I can, yeah, I don't know if I can go that hard, which I, you can. Maybe if I can find a fish that I like, then Mm -hmm. yeah, fuck that. That's what I'm going to say. Um, They don't have nothing. We're going to, we need to try. I want to try. I'm going to say, right now I'm going to say I want to try and do it how we're really supposed to do the cuaresma, like the 40 days. Um, I'm going to try to do like no meat on Fridays. Just fish. Is it Fridays it, and Wednesday, Wednesdays or just Fridays? I think it's just... Or Sundays. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Me, my pants are falling. Son of a bitch. I'm so glad y'all can't <laughs> see back here because y'all would be seeing all my butt cheeks. Um, I'm about to look that up because I yeah, don't know. Cause y'all, I feel I'm, like I'm it's, not a religious person, so I don't know anything about this shit. So if y'all know, tell me down in the comments. Let me know. I'm not a really religious person either, but I do want to teach our kids about it. Like, right now, Symphony's at that age where she does ask questions, and I'm like, yeah. like, how do I explain to her about this? So, I do, I feel like you gotta teach your kids some type of faith. I don't know, you know? man. Uh, yeah, maybe. But, like, like your parents, like, they be taking your brothers and sisters to Sunday school and shit. Yeah, my... Like, I, I never went to Sunday school at all. H is I not even would. baptized. I'm not, I'm not even baptized. <laughs> <laughs> Why haven't you not been baptized? I haven't got around to it, okay? What is it called in English? Quaresma? Fuck, I what don't is it know, called? bro. I don't know how to say it in I don't English. even know it was that in Spanish. Uh, what is it called? I, I have no clue. No, it's not Ash Wednesday. What is Ash Wednesday? I don't know, guys. Me. And that's because I went to church growing up. This is ridiculous. See? We'll have to, uh, we'll look that up later. Uh, <laughs> and I'll, and I'll let y'all know if it's on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, or if it's just on Fridays. But I used to, like, I don't know if it's, like, a legit thing, like, if it's in the Bible, or that if you're, like, a man and you work, that, like, it exempts you from having to, like, not eat meat. I've heard that before. I don't know. I don't like know. I said, I, I don't. I, I don't I know if it's it. just us Mexicans just making up excuses <laughs> to eat carne and stuff. But you know, so. only book I don't read is Junie B. Jones. I've never, I never read the Bible. Yeah. So, but I I do want to start 
because Symphony's very not sharp in the bio, but she's like curious. She's curious. Yeah. And I feel like once your kids get curious, that's when us as parents kind of need to step it up and yeah, and lead them the I right way. You. Yeah, because I I have some really religious family members and like and like the way they remember, go about life, y'all, is crazy. Yeah. Like. But you remember how interested interested Sim was like younger than she was now, like. When we spent that whole week with H's family, they're real big on praying before you eat and yeah. everything, guys. And whenever we came back home, that's how she was. That's like, how she was. Pray, we yeah. had to pray. Hold on, we gotta pray. And I thought it was the cutest thing ever, guys. And she just kind of stopped, which that was our fault. We should have just continued doing it. Yeah. Even if it was just a simple little prayer. Yeah. So I do want to get back onto that. Yeah. With her. We we can hop back on that. Mm-hmm. Ready to hear harmony. Sometimes I just feel though, like, <laughs> like if I ever try to like dabble or like get up into religion and shit, like I feel like bad because I'm a fucked up person. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real fucked up human being. So I'm just like, I feel bad that I'm like, man, like I'm going against everything that this religion is. And but that's I'm still but like, that's like what he's like there for, like to forgive you. You're not supposed to be a perfect human being. I don't know, man. Like I don't like I'm. I'm a little off the wall. So am I, but I still don't feel like, like because I'm a, not a good person that I can't, you yeah. know, pray or I can't like want to take that next step if I do want to take that next step, you yeah. know, like I don't. But I guess everybody has like a different relationship with whatever you believe in. Mm-hmm. Because since we're talking about this, I feel like every religion is like the same thing. Like, does that make sense? Yeah. Like everybody has one God or whatever they yeah. believe in. I feel yeah, like it's see, all the same. See, like, but I, I've, I've heard, I've heard a lot of like Christians and Catholics talk about, like, nah, like, like this is the only God. You know what I'm saying? And like to me, I'm kind of that. That's where I'm like, hey, you know, like, there's like hundreds and hundreds of. No other religion. Yeah, out but there. Do you, you can't just say yeah, that yours is right. Yeah. No, you know I I agree with that too, but like how we say like Christians and Catholics say there's only one God. I feel like there really is only one God, but like Buddhists like their God is you know? Yeah. Does that make sense? Am I making sense yeah, in a yeah, way? Yeah, yeah. I feel like there's one God like in a whole, but we just believe in different Everybody's stories is different. different yes. Yeah. But I feel like to if fit every, where yeah, you're from I fit. but I feel like if everybody like really got into it and like researched it, I feel like some way somehow it would all just end up connected, connected together. And I've Touché. always tr- like truly believed Touché. that. And I'm so interested in like different, um, I guess like religions and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so I never like push mine to nobody, guys. Like. You know? Yeah, me neither. I'm not, I'm and and like we're that. not like real, like I said, H and me are not really re- religious people. Like, of course, we we believe in God. And there's been that's some about shit it. that's happened in my life, y'all. Uh, like a lot, like throughout my life, and then recently, where I'm just like, bro, there there has to be something out there, like yeah, watching down to... on me for some yeah. some. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because this shit don't just happen coincidentally, like this much times. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and uh, and like this topic will be talked about again, guys. Yeah. Like later I don't on. Want, I want everybody no. to think like, this is just about religion no. and shit. No, but this is gonna be talked about later on just because of something that we want that we're gonna do later on next month that I do want to come back and talk about this topic. Yeah. Um. But yeah, guys, we're we're pretty open, guys. We don't we don't judge nobody. Yeah, you I can have, tell me fuck my yeah. religion. And I'll be like, okay, bro. I literally, honestly, one of my best friends does you. not believe in Anything. God or like an yeah, afterlife. Atheist, right? I don't know. He doesn't even define himself as nothing. Damn. Like he doesn't believe in God, and he's my best friend, guys. He he's there's sometimes that he has said stuff, but he doesn't overstep because he knows I believe. In a higher power or whatever. Mm-hmm. But he's my best friend, guys. He doesn't believe in nothing. Literally, he thinks when we die, we die, and that's it. Yeah. And that's... There's tons of people like that. And that's him, guys. And But he's my best friend. So, that's where I wanted... I wish everybody was like that. Yeah. There's not a lot... You can't have, like, uh, an opinion or a belief now without no, somebody being he, like, nah, that's not right. Like, like I said, we'll get back to these conversations. Because this one is like... This conversation is just going to fit into... What we have planned later on. Yeah. So, 
But we don't judge, guys. I don't even know how we... we we're just rambling on today. <laughs> but speaking of Junie B. Jones... What? That was one of my favorite books. Fire-ass book. What I don't think say? I remember what, any what, what does it say? My, uh... My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice. Yeah. Favorite. Beatrice. <laughs> Those were the only books that I can honestly, honestly fire, said bro. I honestly can say I read. And there was these other books in junior high. I think it was like the Blueford something. It was like about yeah. a high school, like a high school kid that he moved like from one city to another city. Like, about gangs and all that. Those books were really good. Never heard of And those. we were so horrible that we all had an English class. And we used to have to, like, summarize what the book was about to the teacher. So one of us would read it and we'd be like, this is what it was about. Okay? And then our teacher ended up freaking catching on to us. So he would ask us different questions about the book. Fuck it <laughs> up, yo. Yeah. Yeah. I, the only books I ever read were those. Captain Underpants. Man, I love them fucking books. I never and, uh, liked those. Those books. are fire. Did you ever read the Treehouse ones? Were they in the Treehouse and they do like different adventures and shit? No. I forgot what they were called, dude, but they were fucking fire. Mm-mm. Like you get, you gotta read like like the vivid pictures and shit. They be painting with words and shit. This shit's crazy. What was your favorite subject uh, in school? I can't talk uh, today. History and social studies. I want to say mine was, like, history, too, but, like, only certain things in history. I love history, and I love social studies. Like, I just love learning about, like, the history of the Like, world, the Holocaust, the I was, like, America, so... Other countries. The Holocaust, I was, like, hardcore, like... That was cool. So, like, mind-blowing, because, like, it wasn't that long ago, I guess you can say. Yeah. Like, okay. if you liter- like, if you literally sit down 1940s. and think about it. So, it's just so mind-blowing how... That happened not that long ago. Yeah, and it's just wild. It should have blow your fucking mind. Yeah, and then like it's not real, but I was stupid. We were we read about the like Greek Greek mythology. Oh, you don't know if that shit's real or not. Yeah, you don't know, but I freaking love that. Like nerd me, I loved somewhere. it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan, but I mean, I, I I I'm not really a fan, but I do like learning some shit about it. Like I watch like Ancient Aliens. On fucking history channel when they're no, talking uh, about it, and then I'm like, all right, well this is cool. It makes sense the way they push it. Do you together, believe you know in Bigfoot? Hell yeah, I do. That's so funny, y'all. That like I do big time. Symphony, there's YouTube like family YouTubes that mm-hmm. they talk about Bigfoot. And she'll oh be, really? And she'll be telling us telling me about Bigfoot, and I think it's so hilarious because my dad is like real into that. Yeah. He's always watched stuff like that, and then I thought it was funny when I got with H because H's dad. He's it's the same way too, too, guys. So I was just like, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. That and the fucking the Yeti. It's like the the mountain Bigfoot or like the the snow Bigfoot, the, you know? Yeah. The abominable snowman shit. Like, hell yeah, I believe in all this shit. <gasps> Speaking of I need to go look. non existing things, how do y'all feel about the, what is it? The little owl. What is it? Oh, the, the lechuza. Yes, the lechuzas, guys. It, I, of course, it's just like a Mexican thing, guys. So the other day, I'm gonna tell y'all a story. The other day, were we fighting? I don't think so. No, you have to get food or something. It was late though. Yeah, but w- were we fighting like before that? I don't or think arguing? So. I don't remember when when it happened, guys. I'm just asking because usually, you know, Mexicans are like when you're fighting, you see stuff and <laughs> you hear stuff. Bad. You're doing something bad. Yeah. So that's why I'm asking him. So the other night, I have always heard of the lechuzas, of course, because, like, you know, your parents, like, my parents, my mom used to talk about it. But I never knew what it was. Like, I knew it was an owl and all this stuff. And, like, you're everybody so terrified of these mm-hmm. fucking things. So I was just, I had, like, never seen one, guys. My dad just said, like, white people call it an owl. Like, that's what they, that's, like, that's what it is to it. Yeah, but, but I feel like, like, bro, like, nah, it's, like, it's like more into, like, deep into it. Yeah. Like, if you get into it, like, if you read up on it, like, the Mexican history of it. So, I was just like, okay, like, like I said, growing up, you've heard about it and stuff like that. I've never seen it. Of course, I've seen what owls look like, guys. Yeah. Because lechuzas means owl in English. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> so. Fuck me, right? <laughs> um, what you call it? So, we've he- heard about all these stories. I went to go get something to eat. I don't know how late it was, but it was pretty late, guys. And I had actually stopped at the at this little store like 
that's really like what a block away from our house. Is it this one right here? Yeah. Oh, I ain't even a block. Not even a block. So I got in the car and I was like driving towards our apartment complex, guys, and I like see this big ass bird, but like I'm like, okay, like whatever, you know, like I don't pay no mind to it, guys. And I'm pulling into the apartment complex and I freaking like I'm getting the chills even talking about it. I got the chills when you told me. I was like, damn, that's fucked up. Y'all, I freaking see, so I had seen that thing, I didn't know where it went, I had seen where it, like, kind of flew towards the apartments, but, like I said, I wasn't, like, thinking anything bad, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm, like, driving into the apartment complex, guys, and we basically have to go through gates before, like, we come into our, where our complex is at, and I don't know what made me turn around, you know, to that side, and I see, like, an owl, guys, but, like, the face, like, was scary. Like, like I don't yeah, think... Yeah, because I think owls are beautiful. Yeah, so the face was scary, guys. And they were... It was walking, y'all, so fast. Like, I don't like even... Like a scary fast. Like a scary fast, guys. Like, oh, my God. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> like, scary fast, guys. It took off, like, walking, like, behind, like... There's, like, a little like nursing, a nursing home, home. And, like, our apartments, like, where they meet. And, like, it walked so fast, guys. Like, my heart freaking dropped. Like, I don't think owls are that tall. But, like I said, I've never seen one, like, you know. Yeah. For me to say, okay, yeah. Like, no. Like, you know, you don't want to be, like, those Mexicans that believe in all this yeah, shit. Yeah, like, so, like, like, you're like, yeah. Shit. So, you're like, you know what? Maybe it was just an owl, you know. Yeah. And it wasn't all the scary, crazy shit that you hear growing up. Guys, but literally, it made my stomach turn, guys. I was so scared. And H was like, why didn't you call me to come help you get the stuff? And I was like, I did. But for some reason, that night, I didn't tell him what till the next day or two days yeah, later. Yeah, didn't even tell me. I was y'all, like, and I was, like, so scared. Like, right now, like, I'm shaking. I wish y'all can see me <laughs> shaking. Like, my stomach is, like, in knots. Like, it was so scary. Yeah. Like, like I said, growing up, you hear about it, but, like, when you see it yourself... Oh, yeah. It's scary as shit. It's, like, totally, like, so different, guys. Yeah. I wanted to come well, home see, and do the holy water and everything. I, I had never read about it, because I had seen them before, too. I'll get to that story in a minute. But uh, I had never read about them, and that night when you told me about it, I, I read about it, and it said that, that, like, they're witches or whatever, mm-hmm. and, like, they, like, either, like make like a scary noise or like they actually say something to get your attention and um they have like the face of a, of a woman or like a person you know and what I'm I saying can't so even, I'm just like I can't even that, that looks fucked up just the like, way you're talking I can't about it. I'm even like, like say it was like a face like like a person or yeah, a woman yeah but it was just scary but it wasn't like an owl like yeah. if you see an owl's face cause owls are pretty yes yeah. so like I don't even know how to explain it, guys. And maybe because it was dark, like I said, I don't want to be that typical Mexican that <laughs> believes in this shit. Like maybe because it was dark, it was just scary, or like because I've never seen an owl freaking walk. Like I don't know like what it was, guys. And shit. It was just so scary. Like yeah. it was, it was scary. Like I was scared. Like yeah. See, uh, back in the day when I first seen the one that we seen, it was it was me, uh, Nick, and um. Uh, Milo. Trubs. And like basically y'all yeah. it was we were at our house and um we had a we had a pool and a deck. It was like a, a deck for the pool. And the pool it was already like kind of fallish, so we had took the pool down, so it was just a deck standing there. And we had like a studio in the very, very, very back, y'all. It was kinda of far from the house. Yeah, and, it um, was way far from the house. And um what's it called? It was late, man. I say about two, two thirty, three in the morning. And um we step out the door and we just see this big ass fucking we well, we already knew what the fuck it was. It let you so right there on the fucking pool deck, and it just fucking opens its wings, y'all massive, fucking huge. And um, when I was reading up about it the other day, that's whenever I learned that that they like say something or like they get your attention. And I noticed y'all like at the studio, at the, we we would always hear like just random ass nights, y'all. We would just hear a lady screaming help, like. It'd be like real faint and like barely you could barely hear it. So and you'd I'd be, be like, like, are you like what the fuck it? is yeah. that? Yeah, everybody like we'd stop the music and we'd be like, bro, like y'all hear that? And we'd be like, yeah. Y'all want to know why? Cause y'all were do- out there doing we bad all, stuff. Yeah, yeah, but we was always doing bad shit. So <laughs> like I'm like, bro, like this is real. See, and I don't want to say like the one that I seen like I don't think it was maybe it was trying to get somebody else's attention and I just so happened to see it because I don't want to say like 
that yeah. was like for me. Yeah, because I don't think we were fine that day. Or like days nah, before. No, because you wouldn't have called me to go get the shit because you was mad. <laughs> I would have been like, I got, I, got I, I don't need no I'm man. I'm an independent woman. I do it my damn self. Yeah, like I don't want to say like it was for uh, me, I guys. I the camera. But I do want to say maybe it was for somebody else and I just so happened to see it. And that's why I was walking fast and walking away from me. But I was so freaking scared, guys. Like literally talking about it, like just makes me feel some feel some type of way. What's up, man? I, I can't put you up there. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. You can just I'm kind of leave it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's coming back, guys. Sorry, y'all. We have to put my little... What are you doing, son? You're not going to lay gonna down I'm going to put yet. you on the bed, bud. Do you think he'll lay down? No, nah, hell no. Nah. He going to mess up all my shit. Yeah, so... It Sorry, was, I got to restart the camera. That's was, why I keep looking at it. If I... if y'all, I'm, I'm not conceited, y'all. Yeah, I promise. I'm over here like this and shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it was just like crazy, guys. Yeah, like, it's crazy shit. And you don't. What the hell is this man doing? I don't know. He wants me to spank him. Oh my. Yo, I don't know why he this does man that. Man, tearing up my carpet. Milo, stop it. Yeah. Name so, the kids is the dog. Yep. Every time we go, go. Do some. Mhm. Mm some scary shit though. Yeah, that was like scary. Like, I haven't had like anything scary happen to me like in a long time. Like. You know how scary shit happens to you? Yeah, and you just get your heart pumping yeah. and shit. And just, I hadn't, uh, like... I wait, me asustaste. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> like, I hadn't, I hadn't, um, like, been scared in a long time. Since yeah. we lived at the old house at your mom's. Oh, yeah. On Star. That, oh, that house, house was scary in a motherfucker, shit, though. Yeah, hell yeah. So scary. That's because my aunt was always doing bad shit. She, it's because your mean. thia's mean. Yeah, she mean. Your thia's going to be she like, gonna fuck y'all. She's like, fuck y'all. Yeah. Fuck y'all, motherfuckers. No, but that was the last time that I, I've ever, like, felt scared. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That shit's wild. And that house was, like... And y'all's house was, like, so... It was big. Yeah. So it was freaking scary. And you never knew who was there because the door was always open. Well, I knew I was the only one there whenever I would hear shit. Yeah, I know. Everybody but was like, at work. Like sometimes you like it, it was so like it was always open so anybody could just yes, go in. Yes, y'all. You know I would be saying? so scared. Like when we lived at H's mom's house, it was like their house was kind of like was it settling? So you can like kind of yeah. hear like squeaking. So whenever. You would be asleep. You can hear them walking, like his mom and stuff, guys. Yeah. Like you knew who was walking by, but sometimes I would hear the freaking floor, like people were walking, and I knew for a fact no one was home, guys. Just me, because everybody was at work. Yeah. So I would literally be so scared, guys. Like I would literally just like lock myself in the room, go get something to eat, and come back. Or if I was gonna be out watching TV in the living room, I used to keep the side door front door i don't know what fucking door <laughs> the one we used to always come in through oh yeah i used to always leave it open and i used to look across the street to see if heather was there because if i heard or seen anything my ass was running out that door going to heather's and eric's house Chop it. so i was so scared guys i would be so scared that i'd be like okay if there's anything in here please don't scare me okay please don't <laughs> scare me i'm by myself like that house was so scary i freaking hated that house and when I would take a shower, I used to put music on. So whenever I would come out, like, I wouldn't fucking hear nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there would be music playing at I least. think that was always the scariest thing for me. But wherever the fuck I lived was getting out of the shower and, like, the fucking window all foggy or the mirror all foggy. Oh. And then you seeing something. You know what I'm saying? I That's just always scary the shit never, out of me. I'm like, bro, fuck this. I, I never, like, wipe the... Yeah. Well, the, see that that's why now like I keep the fan on all the time because it keeps all the, the oh. all the fucking fog from fogging the shit. And I up. freaking hate that you leave it on all the time. And I'm just like, nah, ain't nobody gonna see. <laughs> we gonna we gonna get you in the vent, bro. Fuck that. <laughs> no, so that was the last time that I had ever been scared, like living at your mom's house until like I seen that thing, guys. Yeah. And I was so scared, and I'm like. <sighs> I was over here just trying to think in my head, like, I don't want to be that Mexican that's over here saying you see shit, but you don't know. Like, yeah. some of the stuff that they tell us growing up, are you, like, you want to be like, oh, that's just bullshit. And then when you're an adult and something happens to you, you're like, that's not bullshit. <laughs> that's that's real ass shit. Yeah, dude, I had never fucking... That was crazy when we had seen it, dude. Cause we but literally you had out. you had seen seen like Lechusas before, like with me. I remember one time I think we were coming back from All Steps and you're like, Did you see that? And I was like, No. Yeah. 
So it's because he's bad, y'all. I have it's never, se- I have never seen one until like now, and I was scared <laughs> shitless. Like just telling y'all the story, literally, like it gives you goosebumps every time we talk about yes. it. Like no matter and what, and like I'm because even that yes. story that I had to do from way that- she did was like ten years ago. That shit still get and on not me, just man. that, like, but like I said, that. you don't want to be like you don't want to believe all the stuff like all the old wives tells that they tell you like yeah. growing up and um, Hispanic people or Latin people or whatever you want to say we're like really um, superstitious. Oh yeah, very, very about everything. About everything, guys. But you have to believe it, like yeah. just like little things like the whole ojo, like the rubbing with the egg. You're like, how is that gonna help? You don't know how it helps, but it freaking helps. Yeah. Um, the little, I don't know if everybody does it, but when Symphony used to have hiccups, they used to be like, put a red thread on her forehead and they'll stop her hiccups. <laughs> and yeah, it man, does. I, I never knew about that shit, y'all. And then I'd see Sim with one, I'd be like, what the, what the fuck is this on her fucking forehead? And I'd pull it off. Yes, and we used to get mad at him. We're like, she had hiccups. <laughs> so just My like fault. little things like that, like ojo and like, Ojo equals the evil eye, guys, for people that don't know what it is. So just little things like that, you're like, how do you not believe it, but it, like, works? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and then I feel like you have to believe it because that's just tradition. Like, that's, you just got to pass that down because if you don't, then it just stops. Yeah. So you have to. You have to. Even if it's scary, though, know? even if it scares the shit yeah, out of me. Yeah, like the Yorona stuff, too. Well, look, I, well, I see that. My parents, well, I, I guess they talk, talk to us about that. I feel like, like that's like more. Like, maybe once or twice. Yeah, but, but it I was feel always like, just like the Kukui. Yeah. Or fucking, uh, or the Lechusa. Like, the Lechusa, I feel like my mom and them wouldn't talk to us about it, but they had seen it before. And, and they you would, would hear talk, about it. Yeah, yes, they would, that's they how would, it was with my mom. Yeah, they would too. talk to, like, my tia and shit about yeah. it. And be like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? That shit sounds <laughs> all, scary You're all, fuck. like, listening. Yeah, that shit sounds scary yeah. as shit, bro. Like, fuck all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that, no. that's the only thing we ever heard about. They never really told us about yeah, it. Yeah, they never really told us about it either. But now mind. that you say that, we're going to, I'm going to tell my mom, we're going over there this weekend because we need to talk. <laughs> We need to talk. We need to know. We need to know more about this shit, because literally, I they never like sat us down and be like, "So this is what it is." Yeah. It's just that you so happen to hear it, like whenever they're talking about stuff. Where I remember one time when my and it was a long time ago. I don't even know how I remember this because my Theo Andy hasn't lived here in years. in years. And I remember we were at one at his old house, and I remember my mom and everybody running in yelling the lechuza. So I was Fuck. like, "God damn." <laughs> <laughs> so just like little things like that so i'm just yeah. like but like we were talking um to my parents like about the whole spanish thing like if we don't teach our kids spanish it just ends yeah like if i don't know a lot of spanish but if i don't teach our girls like it just ends there unless yeah. our girls just so happen to want to learn themselves when they're adults yeah because like with me i don't know spanish so if she didn't know Spanish, then this shit would have ended right here because I ain't going to teach nobody Spanish. Because he doesn't even know it. I don't know. It sounds like me. And I actually asked my mom, like, why didn't she ever teach me Spanish? And she literally said because she didn't want me to know what they were talking about. And because she was embarrassed that she had an accent. when See, I can't even tell was, if your mom ever had an accent That was my mom's, like, it's crazy. Like, if people hear my mom, like, you wouldn't think. That was my mom's first language, and she was, like, really embarrassed of her accent. So that was one big reason why she didn't want to teach us Spanish. And two was because she wanted to cheese me out with my grandma and everybody else. Yeah. And me not understand what was going on. So the Spanish that I learned, guys, it was literally from watching novelas. Like, they would be, like, talking. I'd be like, Mom, because I could pick up, you know, certain words and certain sentences. And I'll be like, Mom, what did she say? And my mom would be like, oh, she said this, this, and that. So that's just literally how I learned how to speak Spanish. Yeah. And then, of course, like, my dad's sisters and stuff. And then my grandparents have always talked Spanish to us. But um, I, I just, just don't feel like I know enough Spanish to teach I'm our girls. I'm just not a fan of, like, people telling you that you ain't Mexican enough. Oh, or, yeah. You know, I'm, you know, oh, I'm just like, bro, that shit's fucking annoying. I'm like, bro, annoying. I'm just... Fuck? Yeah, I'm just as Mexican as you are. I just... J- just because I don't speak Spanish. Yeah. I'm still proud of my roots and our history and just the same way as you are. I don't have yeah. to fucking go and freaking speak Spanish and make sure everybody knows we have no pads on our fucking foreheads to say that we're Mexican because I'm just as Mexican as you. 
Um, yeah, that never really bothered me at all, y'all, because I'm, I mean, I always tell my fuckers I'm American, so that's all. It's, but like it, now it, it, it it's irritates me to... now because I mean people do that and then it, it it all comes down to like even like fucking to the simple shit like food motherfuckers are like if you eat tacos without fucking cilantro or fucking onions and you're not really Mexican you're not make, like bro but no. you're paying for my shit bro <laughs> right shit. no not just pay. that I feel if like you... I've got, like because I've always been I've always said that I'm Mexican and now I feel like you have to like really get real into detail what you are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you can't say you're Mexican because then, like, oh, well, where are your parents from and shit like that? Yeah. So it's super irritating. But That's why I'm like, bro, yeah, I'm American. I've always been here. really proud of, like, being Hispanic, Mexican, whatever you want to say, Chicana, Latina, whatever people want to use. Uh-huh. I've always been proud of it. So when people are like, oh, well, you're not Mexican enough because you don't speak Spanish, I'm like, who are you to tell me that I'm not Mexican enough because I don't speak Spanish? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so I, To me, I mean... I, I just was, feel I like I was born here. My parents were born here. When motherfuckers ask, I'm like, "Well, shit, I'm, I was born and here." That's so so no and that's so weird. And that's so weird to me, guys. That people think it's crazy that our parents and our grandparents were born here. Yeah, people ask all the time, like, "Where, where are y'all from?" I I used to work with uh, this dude from Mexico. Yeah, I think he was from like Chihuahua or something. And he had asked me if I was from Juarez because my name was my name's Hilario, and. I was like, nah, bro. Like, I'm I'm from here. Like, this is where I'm from. Mm-hmm. And he's like, well, your dad. And I'm like, nah, he's from here too. But I I, mean, I don't know. I don't know anything about like so on and my so fa- forth. Yeah, yeah, my family tree. You know what I'm saying? But like to me, that don't matter, y'all. Like, I'm I'm proud of my family. You know, whoever the fuck I know in my family, yeah. I'm proud of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care about anything like, in the past. So, yeah, like it don't bother me if I ever know that shit ever. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, it, it'd be it cool. cool. It'd be fucking awesome. It'd be like, damn, well, he used to do this and he used to do that. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't give a shit. Yeah, and so I, it's like... It's not changing my life. Like, it's so crazy, guys. Like, literally, like, here recently, a lot of people ask us, like, where are your parents from, blah, 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 and your grandparents. And when we tell people that, guys, like, they're so, like, mind blown that that we're here. And yeah. I never... Like, here recently, since people have been asking me, I've been asking, like, more questions, like, to my mom and stuff like that. And I would be like, I guess my family from Mexico was came here or were from here when fucking Texas was Mexico because I really didn't know which like here recently I learned that my great great grandpa was from Mexico but I don't even from I don't even know I don't even want to say it because I don't even know if I'm going to say the fucking little city right <laughs> some are from Mexico guys so just like little things like that it it is interesting like just to know guys because I think it's cool it's cool to find out. I've always been interested. Since, in I, since like I'm like a huge history buff, it'd be cool to know mm-hmm. for that aspect. You know, like they used to do this but and they were involved in this shit. for the people that say that we're not fucking Mexican, bitch, we're Mexican just as much as fucking you are, okay? It's not my fault that my family tree <laughs> came, is still here. Most of the family tree is here from the United States. Yeah. And I, I feel like, like they try to dog you because your family's from, you know, from the United States, like... Okay, like that's so, like. Sorry, my family's from the greatest country in the fucking world, yo. Like my I don't. Fault. <laughs> literally, guys, like I don't. Like that's like me downing you because your your family's from Mexico. Like that's dumb of me, or because your family comes from another country. Like yeah. no, like I'm just as Mexican as you are. I that that's just for me. A lot of people get mad at me because my beliefs and shit, yo. But I mean. I you you're proud of your fucking country you come from shit I'm proud of me I'm proud of my country where mm-hmm. I come from you know what I'm saying I a lot like, of people get mad yeah, about I'm that I'm really never I'm been like, like a mm-hmm. like that like I'm proud to be an American I'm proud to be an American I am y'all no really like, am. like 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 I am like I don't want to say that I am guys because America we have so much freedom in America and like we. There's like so much things that we can do here that we can that we would not be allowed to do anywhere else. But I'm not gonna sit up here in line and like, oh yeah, I'm so, oh, I'm so. Did I mess it up? Did the thing turn on? Yes. Okay. <laughs> the fuck was it? Hold on. But I'm n- I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm so proud. You know, like I've just never been like that. I've been more proud to say that I'm Mexican than, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm not gonna say that. But I am very grateful that. We, that I was born here and have the opportunities that we have. Yeah. So d- don't nobody come over here c- trying <laughs> to knock me and say, what I, we'll go back to somewhere <laughs> else. No, motherfucker, I'm proud and glad that I was born here. But I'm just as proud to be like Mexican as well, Hispanic, 
just as I am to be an American. Yeah. I'm equally proud to be both. What would it be? Uh, American Mexican. Yeah. Me- Mexican American. Mexican American. Yeah. I like to get up early in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I. I don't know, man. I'm. A lot of people now, man, are on the the little wave where they're just like, "Fuck America," and like, uh, "Y'all ain't America ain't shit," and there's better countries and shit like that. So I, that's why I'm like, bro, like, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's this. Is I just I'm, think it's dumb, but like I said, you're if you're. You're lucky that you're able to even say that here in America. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to say that somewhere else. You know what yes, I'm saying? I, so yeah. it's, it's dumb, it's, guys. It's but right. to each is their own. Yeah. To each is their own. Yeah. However yeah. you Dad, feel. see, we went from religion to politics, y'all. Just like that. Poof. Me- and Mexican them- folklore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Folk tales. Folk tales? Yeah. Is that what you... Fuck, I don't know, yo. Damn, see, look, we covered a bunch of shit today. No, but... What about just- a... Um, while we're on the politics subject, we talk about Rihanna because she was here. She was here in Amarillo, y'all. She stirred up some shit. I the, feel the funny like, thing wait, to me, yo, is like, Amarillo she don't give a fuck. fuck. No, like, that's she was just like, ooh, some shit that I can spray paint on. Let me go do that. And then she just sprayed her, spray painted her thoughts like everybody else does. You know and what I'm saying? And Amarillo just divided like and that Amarillo again. Amarillo fucking ate that shit up, bro. Y'all stay tuned because I'm about to jump on that bandwagon. Oh, yeah. Dude, I. Uh, I'm about to jump on I that. I've seen back. so much people, y'all. A, a, a bunch of Mexicans to me. Um, Cause basically, y'all, if y'all ain't never been here, in Cadillac Ranch is owned by uh, Stanley Marsh. I guess Stanley Marsh, he was a pedophile while he was alive, and um, a he lot died. of people. Yeah, he died. He died a while back. But um, a lot of people still go there. You know, that's like a huge landmark in Amarillo, so they will never take it down, even though he was a pedophile and shit. And I understand why people are upset, like to go to guys. But yeah, that's that, the- that's the huge. That's the reason you go to uh, Cadillac Rancho, so you can spray paint the cars what and I just have. check them out. Yeah. You do whatever the fuck you want. Mm-hmm. Spray paint over everybody's shit. So Rihanna went spray paint, spray painted fuck Trump. Cool, great. And then all the Trump supporters went, and they were like, "Well, we're just gonna fucking go over this." And we're just going to put fucking Trump 2020. And then all the Trump haters went back and they was like, oh, well, fuck you and fuck Trump. And like now, like just some random people will go and, and just, just spray paint random, stuff. random shit. So, like, oh, fucking refugees. Yeah, fuck like refugees are where it's at. And they're just like, and then they get fucking like 500 shares. And then the other person will go. If I don't get, 500 five, shares. If I don't get 500 shares, I'm going to be salty. Y'all ain't shit if she don't get 500 Period. shares. Period. Because we going for that clout. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I sure am. No. We clout chasing in this no, motherfucker. But um, the whole, a lot of, I know a lot of people were like, why are people even going there and blah, blah, blah. That's the only thing Amarillo is really known for and the fucking big Texan. <laughs> yeah. So if you really just want to wipe Amarillo off the map, then take the Cadillac off. Cadillac Ranch, Ranch off the map. Yeah. Which. I mean, I, it wouldn't make a big deal to me. I've never been. I think I've been there like one time. I've been one time with the school. And we might go a second time. And after that, we probably would never go again, y'all, to be completely honest. Yeah. Because for what? Like, it's not that interesting to me, to be completely honest. Nah, it's just a bunch of cars in the ground. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, just like little things like that, guys. I, think I just thought it was funny. Though, funny like, like Rihanna that give Rihanna a fuck. does not care about none of us, guys. <laughs> like. She stirred up so much shit for the Amarillo people and divided us more than we're already divided. And she don't give a shit because she's still out there living her life and rich as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't Rather you were on shit. her side or not her side on what you believe in. Like, she yeah. don't give a shit. It was cool that she came over here because, like, what is the odds, though? Like, hey, let's go to Texas. I think she's doing, like, some art type shit. Yeah. Cause she had put, like, art, art number yeah. 81 or some shit like that. Yeah, she's and then, the like, doing. she's... She came out here and people was, was making people were making money off of her. Oh yeah, like people were making shirts. It was funny. This girl was like trying to sell the dirt she walked on. <laughs> Y'all, Amarillo ain't shit, yeah, and that walked on this no, dirt right here. Amarillo's not shit, and that's why we're nothing. Yeah. Y'all, y'all out here having a fucking turf war at fucking Cadillac Ranch and shit, like the Bloods and the Crips. <laughs> y'all out here spray painting shit, motherfuckers, dude. This shit's it's, ridiculous. It was crazy though. That that was like the little, little interesting stuff that rarely happens here. Yeah. Rarely. But believe it or not, guys. So where we're from is like where there's a big highway. So a lot of artists actually do 
There's tons. There's tons of uh, like famous people that come by. Some people say Matthew McConaughey got a house here. Yes. I don't know how true that is, but, but I've actually I seen people it. like uh, Google search. Like if you Google search a dude, like it'll pop up. And not just like, that, but do you remember? I don't know how many years ago where he was passing through Lubbock and he got a flat tire. Yeah. And somebody stopped him. Like, what the fuck are you doing in Lubbock? Yeah. So like stuff like that makes you think. They even said R. Kelly had a house here too. Yeah, I seen R. Kelly. I met I met R. Kelly y'all, and um this was before the, the documentary, documentary came, came out. out and before I knew he peed on everybody. I knew he peed on somebody before, but, but not that I, many I people. didn't know it was like a, 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 fetish. An, a fetish, an addiction. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, he uh, he was an asshole. Um, basically, I'm not the only one that has a story like this. But basically, y'all, he, he was at this coffee shop at the mall, and he was surrounded by like what uh, three, four. four bodyguards. He had two dudes beside him and two dudes behind him, and um, I was like. I walked by and I was like, damn. And he was like, hey. H was R. like, Kelly. is that R. Kelly? R. Kelly. <laughs> and he was like, what's up, man? And I was like, bro, can I take a picture? And he was like, nah. And I was like, this bitch has He was like, I just don't he want a lot. Yeah, he was like, I just don't want a lot of attention. Which I thought I was agree. dumb. I understand, but I thought it was dumb too because there, the mall was already closing. So there wasn't even that many people there. Yeah, it was just me and some other white lady that Yeah, that him, actually like, seen him. Yeah. So I think if he would have took a picture with us, I don't really think it would have been a big a big deal because no. especially if you don't listen to his music you know what I'm yeah. saying and I honestly think it was on a Sunday and more older people go on a Sunday and yeah. super super Mexican I was upset so, y'all he so, shook my hand but so, then after I seen the R. Kelly documentary then I was like I'm glad I don't I like worked at the mall the guys I worked on the mall and everybody that works at the mall calls Sunday the Me- Mexican Sunday because all the Mexican comes after the pulga, aka the flea market. <laughs> um, that should close at four, and, and they go is. to the mall. So yes, y'all. That's I used to work at the mall, so that's what they call it. I think Mexicans be spending money. Though. They do. That, that's where I'd be making my commission. So everybody talking shit. All the people that work. <laughs> For commission, us Mexicans are the ones that get you your commission on Sunday. Dropping dollars, bro. Yeah, so we did see him there. And they, a lot of people said that he, he has a house here, too. And I believe it, guys. There's actually really, like, million-dollar houses here. Beautiful-ass yeah. houses. And they're kind of hidden, too. Yeah, a lot of them are hidden. Yes. I was just like, man, you going you pee on me. <laughs> I hate you. I hate Fuck you. Fuck it, R. Kelly, dude. Peeing on motherfuckers and shit. Like, it's cool. Man, and then it makes me mad. Like so many people see like famous people like passing by here all the time, and I've never seen nobody. The, would would you would you rather be uh, famous or just wealthy or rich? I just rather be well. If I could give two shits, if anybody knows who I am, I don't know, man. Don't get me wrong. Like it's a good feeling, like for people to recognize you, like. Whenever yeah, I fir- but I so would just want to go to the store like normally, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So whenever I, I like first shop- first started doing my lives, I feel like more people were like, hey, you're that girl that does makeup because there wasn't that many people here actually doing them. Yeah. So it would feel good like to do that. And I'll be like, fuck, now I gotta always do my makeup. I can't like ratchet no more. Um, so it does feel really good like to be like noticed like that. But I don't I don't know if I would I like just, it I forever. I don't know if I like like that microscope on you and shit. Yeah, I like you can't poke your boogers in peace or nothing. Yeah. They're like, oh, we see. Oh, that motherfucker was poking you. You'd be on TMZ. First <laughs> like motherfucker this. on TMZ like this and shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yo, they be fucking. That, I don't know. See, I don't, I don't then, know about being famous, yo. And they then be um, this weekend, we actually was uh, this week, weekend, whatever. We went to Colorado, guys, and I gave my first. Autograph. Her first John Hancock. And when she told me, I was like, huh? Huh? With my face like, like, huh? huh? Like, really? For real? And then I'm like, what do you want me to put on it? Oh, yeah. And she was like, whatever you sign. And I was like, girl, I don't be signing shit like for me to know what to put. Y'all, so this motherfucker whooped out the throwback Chola signature, yo. I was was waiting for you to fucking tell me that. Big (laughs) out. I was waiting for you to tell me that. (laughs) Fucking milkweed, goddamn. I was like, it looked like a fucking Picasso, yo. I'm telling you, dude. She was crazy. Yeah. (laughs) Chola does came out the See, signature. See, when, you, when, when you're famous, you're going to have to do a lot of them. You're going to have to make it smaller because that took a little bit, you know? You're going to have to just... I'm like Von to Miller, s- when Von Miller signed shit, dude, that motherfucker like... Pff, pff, 
Geometry like, scribble, just put a D and then scribble. Yeah, D and scribble. That's a Donald Trump. That's how my dad Donald, signs Donald too. Trump just like, my dad does like a C and then it's just like that. I don't know how to. That's sign why shit. I could. That's why I could never like whenever in school, you know, I to learned, copy your parents' signature. Yeah, I could never do my dad. See, I learned cursive like in school, but I totally forgot. Like I don't know how to write cursive. I know how to still. See, I don't. But my handwriting's ass. So whenever I gave my first little signature, I should see my signature, y'all. Yeah. And then she asked H to sign it, so everybody like knows Heladio as H. Yeah. So he was like, "What do I put?" I was like, "Just put H." So I put my initials. I put H A. Because I'll just throw H from now on. But my signature now, y'all, like it's just a bunch of squiggly lines. Like y'all ever see that little kid on Charlie Brown, the the one that got the little dirt trail running? Yeah. Like behind that, that's what my signature looked like. <laughs> just like a little blob. <laughs> yes, guys. So it I can't was, be famous, yeah. It was I'm, crazy, guys, and it felt really good that she, like, it was, I felt like it was a compliment that she was like, "Y'all are just like how y'all are on life, guys." That was a huge compliment. That was a biggest I've, compliment. I haven't heard that much, but that was a huge compliment because I mean, we are y'all, like we we a hundred. We're know just what I'm as normal as y'all are, guys, and people are like, "Y'all don't lose that. Y'all don't lose that, guys." But yeah, she said that. I that honestly, she was like actually like. Exactly how she yeah. is on live, and like when she meets other people, they're kind of like, mm-hmm. yeah, you know. Um, I honestly like everybody always tells us to stay humble, and I just feel like I am, like we would, guys, if it, if this ever popped off, because we know how easy it is to lose to lose, guys. We've been at the very bottom, and we're not even close to the top. No. So, like, I wouldn't, guys. I. I personally, me, just by myself, have been through a lot in my short 20, almost 25 years of life, guys. So, I would never forget where I came from. Yeah. No, I wouldn't either. So, that was like a big, big, big compliment. So, thank you, Leanne, for that compliment. Um, Colorado was cool. And getting to know them on a personal level, guys, there's so much that goes on in y'all's life that... Yeah, we, we don't know. We talked to Leanne for a while. We, we found and, out a bunch of stuff. And Susie as well. Susie. And all the other people Emily that we too, met. Yeah. yeah. Just like. Sonya. Yeah, we, we, talked. We, we talked to quite a bit of people. And there's like so much that goes on, guys, behind closed doors. And y'all are like. Like, whenever y'all tell me on live, like, oh, I'm so glad you go live because you made my day better. Or because. Um, I was having a rough day or like I love to end my night watching y'all listening to y'all like it that means a lot <laughs> your kids mm-hmm. that means a lot to me but like after hearing everybody's like stories like you know what really goes on like off of you know yeah. like deep it just meant that much more to me yeah. Like hearing like when people tell me that stuff now. Not that it didn't mean anything, but just knowing y'all stories and y'all saying what y'all tell us guys, we appreciate it. That's what keeps us going, guys. Um people are barely listening to our first and second podcast, guys, and they'll snap me and tell me stuff and like just tell me that it's so cool. This girl actually told me that it was so cool for her to like people from her town like actually doing something yeah even though i'm not from her for fyi but <laughs> you know i got what you meant and y'all are the reason that just y'all keep us y'all keep us going guys y'all keep us going and then i wrote some of y'all little hand written thank y'all notes for um caps we haven't even talked about the caps we got <laughs> we got caps guys we um the first order sold out in five hours in five hours guys so in five hours it sold out and we ordered a second batch and so whoever ordered some and we had to ship out that lived out of town i wrote them thank you notes guys and they were pretty long thank you notes and they all said something totally different so don't think i everything that i said to one person i said to the next person i wrote um strictly for that person guys and whenever some of y'all replied to me, like messaged me, and I was like, I got your note and blah, blah, blah. Like, literally, I wanted to cry <laughs> with, yeah. with some of y'all. And it's crazy how much, like, y'all believe in us and y'all don't even know us. Y'all just know us from lives, guys. So I'm going to try not to cry because literally it just, it's a blessing for y'all. 
Yeah, it's cool. It's to a, support us the way y'all do. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a huge blessing. It just sucks, y'all, because uh, I've I've been slacking a lot on this podcast, and um, y'all never slack on fucking holding it down for us, and, and I feel I feel really us. really really bad about not um putting this shit out for like what three four weeks already. It's fucking ridiculous and uh it's terrible on my part. So hopefully y'all, I don't leave y'all hanging like like I did, cause y'all never leave us hanging. Um, y'all been on it. Yeah. Even getting on our ass about it too. So, thank you. Stay on our ass, please. We need it sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up because we hear little children saying "mom" and "babe" very faintly in the background. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we're going to wrap this up, guys. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. However y'all do, whether it's on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Anchor. Yeah. However, thank y'all so much, guys. And y'all don't forget to follow us on our social medias. Yeah. So, you want to go first? Um, My goddamn camera finished. This is going to be a terrible fucking outro. Um... But yeah, um, make sure y'all follow us, y'all, on everything that y'all can. Subscribe to our, uh, both of our channels, to the Glamour Desi Joe channel and to the Show with H and Joe channel. And um, we now have our Instagram, which is, uh, I think it's... The Show with H Joe. Yeah, the Show with H Joe. And um, follow us on Facebook at the Show with H and Joe. And on my Facebook, Glam with Desi Joe as well, guys. That's where we're the most active is on Glam with Desi Joe. And if y'all want to get a little bit more personal and get to know us on a personal level, then on our Snapchat. Mine is Glam with Desi Joe 3 all together. I don't even know what mine is. His is Hilario uh, Kid. Yeah, that's it. Hilario Kid. H I L A R I O K I D all together, guys. Yeah, and make sure y'all check out our Patreon too. Also, y'all, it's uh, www.patreon.com/slash Glamour Desi Joe. And then, um, if y'all want to check out our new merch, we literally got a ton of new merch, y'all, with our brand new logos, uh, Glamour Desi Joe and the show. Um, just go to www.teespring.com/slash stores. Slash Glam with Desi Joe, and it'll take y'all right to all of our stuff. So, yeah, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Um, or night, <laughs> or night, whatever, whenever the fuck y'all watching this motherfucker. <laughs> I hope y'all have a, a wonderful week, and um, yeah, we'll get we'll, we'll get some y'all. new ones soon, y'all. Yeah, and we will see y'all next time. Next time. <laughs>